Rafe, how are you feeling after being fired? Um, I'm feeling, you know, not as chirpy as I normally am, which is very. Um, a bit upset and a bit miffed as to, uh, as to why I got fired. But, uh, you know, it's Saran's decision, as I always maintained on the show, and uh, I respect that. Were you shocked by it? Yeah, I was. I mean, I, I absolutely thought that we had the better, better commercial, uh, le- you know, more, more subtle, less patronising to, uh, to the viewer. Um, and when he said we'd lost... Um, those words were so haunting, I, you know, I just wanted to uh, you know, throw myself out of the window because I thought it was just a, a, an impossibility. Mm. Do you regret the decision to hire Weather Girl, Sean Lloyd? Uh, um, it, at, at the time, it was the correct decision. I mean, you know, lots of people will be thinking, what the hell, as Sir Alan did, does Sean Lloyd have to do with a box of tissues? But the point is, we needed a celebrity endorsement, um, and she, as far as I was concerned, was the biggest celebrity in the dossier we had of mm. celebrities we could choose from. And B... Um, she looked like a wholesome mumsy type, even though she doesn't have children. She still looked mumsy and wholesome, which is what we needed um, for our advertisement. We needed a mum, and she, you know, as far as I'm concerned, fits the bill facially. <laughs> what did you think of Sir Alan's comments that you're full of a lot of hot air? Were you surprised by that? I was completely surprised. When he said, you're, you're full of hot air, I honestly thought he was going to turn to somebody else. Mm. Um, when he said, uh, Rafe, you're fired, I thought... You know, I was honestly just uh, bewildered as to why he thought that. Because during all the tasks, I just got stuck in and did everything. Um, so I don't know where that came from. Um, I think, you know, at the end of the day, he needs to say something when he fires you. He can't just say, Rafe, you're fired. It's got to be substantiated with something. And I think maybe, maybe that was what he came up with, you know, what, what, what he thought of and the only thing he could think of. Mm. Who do you tip to win? Um, I'd love Lee to win. Um, but I have a sneaking suspicion someone like either Lucinda or Claire will win, just because not only is Claire, for instance, a great businesswoman who's changed over the course of the show, you know, she became somebody who was willing to listen, but she, um, last year it was a guy, and I just think this year maybe Sarana wants to mix it up a bit and have a, have a female apprentice. Mm. So what are your plans for the future? Any burning ambitions? Burning ambitions... You know, um, Michael and I made no secret of the fact, you know, that we um, we both come from a um, an amateur dramatics mm. background. We loved acting, but I, you know, I've been into that since I was seven. I've never need, I've never wanted to pursue it per se. Um, but you know, uh, it, it would be fun to to do a bit more, you know, a bit more acting and uh, a bit more fun, you know, fun stuff like that. If you could be any Shakespeare character, which one would you be? Um, Sir Alan uh, seems to think um, Sir Toby Belch from Twelfth Night. So I don't know if you know the character. who's basically a uh, a bit of a, a bit of a dandy, shall we say? <laughs> um, I, I've played Hamlet in the past. A uh, completely different hairstyle, much shorter. Um, I've done Sebastian from Twelfth Night. Uh, quite, you know, just quite brooding, serious types, which probably goes against you know, what the audience of The Apprentice have seen, which is, you know, this kind of colourful uh, uh, figure.